Start record. There we go. Man, you stream is slow. Holy. All right. Welcome, everybody, to my show. For those of you that have never been here before, my name is Lee Moore Weber. And uh, tonight, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating... I'm going to be really brave, you guys. All right? I was going to do an art journal page, but tonight I've decided I'm actually going to create a canvas for my house. Isn't that cool? I'm going to make it with you. So if it's a flop, it's a flop. <laughs> we'll send it to someone. I don't know. Um, I'm having people over um, next, next week or the week after. The week after. Where we're having a giant party at our house, and you know we just we redid our house, we renovated, so I want to put new pictures up. So that's what I'm doing tonight. What do you guys think? Sound like fun? All right. You'll take it. All right. We'll see. You might not like it by the end of it. Um, what I want to do is I want to start with some gesso. Um, I don't think this is, I have no idea where I got this canvas and because I don't trust where I got it because it didn't have the packaging on it. It's kind of dirty. So it was kind of sitting. I am. Oh, hang on a sec. Yvonne, I'm going to make you moderator. I forgot. Give me a second here. Uh, Yvonne is a moderator tonight, so she'll be answering any questions that you have and let me allow links as well. There we go. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so what I'm going to be doing tonight is I'm going to be gessoing my canvas and what the gesso does to the surface is it allows it to not soak right into the fibers be and keep its vibrancy and I can actually spread it around because what happens is if I don't use gesso, you'll find that it kind of goes right into the fibers. It doesn't allow me to, to move it as well. And the other thing that I want to do is I want to grab an extender for my paint so that I can keep going with the brush strokes. So, and I don't see it in my stash here. So give me one second, I'm gonna grab it. Okay. And I use the golden one. I really like it. It just, it says, an additive for, in for increasing the working time of acrylic paints. Okay. Hey, Ava. You want sprays? Okay, when I'm done. Okay, up, up you go. No, you can't have sprays while I'm doing a show. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some gesso. A what? A what? A what? A Sorry, you guys. A what? I don't understand what you're saying. What's an hour ring? I don't understand what she's saying. Oh my goodness, you guys. What do they want? What do you want? A different one of this. Oh, a, a heat gun? Why do you need a heat gun? So I can dry it. Yeah, when I'm done. You can dry my canvas when I'm done gessoing. So I'm just going to apply gesso because it's such a big canvas. I'm just going to apply gesso like this. And I do have a giant gesso brush that I use. Yeah. And this is my big gesso brush and it actually is a gesso brush and let's see it's by Princeton Art and Brush Company. And I think it says gesso brush. Yeah, it says gesso 5450F-200. Okay? So, um, I love it because it spreads it so nicely and easily. And I'm standing up for this only because it's a little bit hard to to really see where you're getting your uh, gesso in. And I just want to ensure that it's all the way into the fibers. And I don't think this is pre-gessoed because I can see it soaking in pretty good. Okay. Just moving my stuff out of the way. So that's what you want to do with your canvas is for anyone that's following along, please go ahead. If you want to make a painting for your house, you can do it in a smaller version. Okay. So you're going to need whatever colors you want grab right and um, as I as, and you can go along with me what I'm going to be creating is I'm going to be creating a poppy scene okay just like that okay. 
and I put a lot of gesso so I'm just spreading it around sorry I'm going really fast hey everyone that's getting on welcome I'm so glad everybody made it tonight and it's not my usual night usually I do it Tuesdays but of course you know stuff gets in the way and you gotta do it Mom, you forgot that flight. oh did I I'm sorry thank you Ava I have a little I am recording um, I have a little helper Ava tonight Okay, hey, Ava, come dry this for Mama. That how you turn it on. Okay, so now I'm going to dry this. Okay. I'm going to dry it. Okay, Ava's going to dry. And I can answer questions. No, you're good. You're good, Jules. Okay. Hold it up. Hold it up. We're just going to dry this really quick. And just give me a moment, you guys. I'm getting a... Uh, while Ava's drying. Don't get too close. I'm just bringing something up really quickly. Good job, Ava. Am I all done yet? No, you're not all done yet. Almost? Almost. <laughs> you know what it takes so long for it to go to YouTube that I try not to um, put it on it takes forever to load because it's like an hour and a half show right and uh, so I didn't put it on YouTube I'm sorry so you'll have to come to this channel to watch them Sorry I'm going really fast and it's probably out of focus. I just want to dry it. So if you have any questions, you can ask me. This will be fun. Oh yeah, so I was saying I'm going to be making um, a scene. So we're going to make, we're going to create like a sky scene up here. And then down here, we're going to make poppies. Like a field of poppies. Can okay? I do, help me do that? Ava wants to help me do that. Can you can hear her? I, can I it will repeat on Ustream because I've uh, I'm recording it. No, okay. No, um. So you can do your poppies whatever color you want, and um. This is going to be I call them my abstract poppies. Okay, so I'm not the best. I can't draw very well, but I can paint. Okay. Um. I know. Ustream can be a little bit annoying sometimes, I know. I should give her a small canvas to paint. Hey, how smart are you? Okay, Ava, do you want to paint your own canvas? Okay. Look, these girls are looking out for you. Mom, they, can I? Okay, let me give you a canvas. Okay, let me grab a canvas for Ava. What's the canvas? A canvas? This is your own canvas, and you get to paint right here. Okay? But where's, uh, Here's all the paints up here. Okay. Oh my god, I'm letting her use my golden paints. What am I doing? Am I insane or what? <laughs> I'm going to have to watch. <gasps> I know. It's annoying, isn't it? I don't know what's up with you, Stream, sometimes. They're coming. Those girls are coming. Miranda and uh, they're coming. I know Miranda's coming. I'm not sure about Leanne. She might be working tonight. Uh oh, I don't see my screen, you guys. My screen just went blank. FYI. I hope you can see me. I really hope so. Because I can't see anything. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'll be, you know, just yell. I, you know what? <laughs> hey. Sure. Oh, you're trying to open that? Give me that. Sorry, you guys. I do have to dry it. Otherwise, we can't, we won't be able to, um, 
to paint on this canvas. I should have prepped the canvas. That's what I should have done. Why, why, does, why does my child bug me when I'm doing a show? Is it like, she doesn't bug me all day and then as soon as I get on the show. Hey coach. Who's following along with me tonight? Here, Ava. Oh. Hannah, go upstairs, please. Just leave her. She's fine. Hey. So many people on tonight. It's awesome. All right. <laughs> Fellow Canadians, awesome. I'm getting my hair on this canvas. I'm sure my, you know, even though it is my painting and my art, I don't really want my hair on it. I gotta say, it's not my style. like the YouTube announcement? Cool. I um, I don't usually do them, so I, I thought, what the heck? I'll just do a YouTube announcement today. Because my YouTubers keep asking me, when's your you streams? And they don't know, and I forget about them sometimes. Because not everybody's in the mixed media group. Oh, cool. Put it on. I'm going to send you upstairs if you don't start behaving. Got it? You're from Saskatchewan? Oh. What size is the canvas? Um, that's a good question. It's really big. Let's see. Let's measure this puppy. Um, it's at least, um, what am I doing? So 12 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 18 by 11, 18 by 14 around, 18 by 16. It's big. It ain't small, and my just was taking a while. Mm. Honey, you need to move away, please. send you upstairs if you don't stop. You know that I'm doing a show and you're supposed to be upstairs, right? Right? Yep, she loves to see herself. She, she just wants to hear herself. Here. Getting it all over the place, and I'm getting upset now. Do you understand? That doesn't work. That's it. That's the only thing you're allowed to play with. Those are the only two colors you get. Now color your canvas. Yes, paint or go upstairs. That's your two choices. No more bugging, Mama. My patience is low today. Can you tell? <laughs> and you all get to witness it. <laughs> How wonderful for me. I know. I'm not too bad right now.
Yeah, I um, I wish I could wait for it to dry, but it's a show. I could have done this before, you know. I'm not sure why my, uh, hang on a sec, I'm going to do something. Um, just give me one second, you guys, because I want to be able to see my screen. So I'm going to switch, um, see if it does it right now. Sure. Hopefully, I didn't lose you there. Nope, I don't think so. But I still can't see myself. Which is funny. Okay, that's it. No more heat gunning. Just give me a second, you guys. I just want to see if I can actually see myself. I'm not sure why it's not allowing me to do that. So. There we go. I am back. Woohoo! Awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to take uh, one of these guys, right? One of these. And I'm going to have some titanium white. So I'm using right now just a cheaper one. It's um, Winston, uh, Winston Newton titanium white. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, what brush is it? Let me find it here for a moment. Um, I'm going to take this one right here. And this, um, this is a number one series brush. Okay, it's a Robert Simmons brush. And I'm going to apply a little bit of white right here. Can you guys see me? Yeah. Oh, did I lose you guys? Did I lose you guys or are we okay? Sorry, because I'm not looking at the chat now. Okay, good. All right, so um, I'm going to put some white. And then what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to need way more than that because I'm going to be doing such a big canvas. And then I'm going to grab some Naples Yellow Hue by Golden. Okay, and it's a very light, creamy yellow. And I'm just going to apply a dot. This is a very highly pigmented paint, you guys. So you don't want to do too much. And you always want to start light and then go to dark, okay? Like look how highly pigmented that is. That's almost like too dark for what we want. We want something very creamy. And because I'm gonna use quite a bit, I am gonna apply a little bit more white, like quite a bit more white, okay? And then I'm gonna apply just a little bit more yellow. Okay, just like that. Just one drop. Start light, mix it up, and if you find that it's still a little bit too light, you can go ahead and add some more, but it's always better to start light. Okay, I'm going to add one more drop, just a very small one. Okay, just like that. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is quite creamy. It's like a creamy white now. It's not so white. There we go. All right. And you guys tell me if I lose you because Ustream is acting up. I lost my screen again, okay? All right, perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take all that paint off my brush because it's way too much, okay? And I'm going to move this over just a tiny bit and we're going to get started on painting our background. And so what we want to do is we want kind of want to create a three or four tone effect background on our um, on our um, on our canvas. Sorry, I was trying to look at the chat. And what I'm doing is I don't know if you noticed, but I am uh, using this number one brush, and I'm kind of going in an X. Okay, can you guys see that? And that's all I'm doing right now is just going in an X. And I'm starting on one corner of my canvas. And as you'll find is what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a little bit of this uh, golden retarder, which is an, uh, an additive for increasing the working time of acrylic paints. So I'm actually going to apply a little bit right here on my brush. OK. 
okay and that's how I like to do it other people like to do it differently and so whatever I have on the brush just gets extended okay and so I don't actually have to use as much paint which is really really great why an X because what it does is it kind of takes away the lines that a brush stroke would do and so it creates a blending effect that's why we use the X okay and it creates great coverage on the canvas because what happens if you have brush strokes you'll see them when it dries but this way it's kind of a blended texture effect does that make sense okay good I am gonna put a little bit of extender right here because I think it'll make it easier for the show no you can use this one just be very careful don't get too close Okay, so that's all I'm doing right here. Does it make sense to you? Okay, good. If it makes sense to you, that's all that matters. And I'm going about, the, I'm gonna say about the middle of my canvas, okay? So right now we're just making sky. That's all we're doing in an X form. How many of you are following along with me tonight? I know what I forgot. I forgot a little bit of my pink. Let me grab that. Actually, my red. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of white right here and just a small amount, not too much. Okay, about like that. And I'm going to apply an ever so lightly. Um, a tiny tiny bit of red and this is a naphthol red medium and like I said you guys I can't see my screen so if I'm off focus please tell me okay and I'm gonna use the same brush okay and this is really really pink so I do have to tone it down with a little bit of white I just about grabbed black what size canvas? It's really big. It's like a, what did I say, 18 by 16 or something? Something like that. It's quite large. Okay. And as you'll notice, golden is very pigmented because look how pink that is, right? And I added a ton of white. So I, I'm just going to keep adding white until I get the color that I kind of want. Okay. Okay, I think that's good enough. And I don't need so much retarder on because I have so much paint on here, I probably won't be using it all. Okay, and so, and this is too pink for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of white, even on here. I know it's a little bit crazy, but it's too pink. And I don't want it that pink. And so now what I'm doing is now I'm blending the two sides together with an X. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush after and I'm going to blend them together and I'll show you how to do that. And I'm just grabbing some white to go over top so that they start to blend a little bit. Okay. So it's kind of like creating a little bit of a sunset, if you will. It is a lot of pigment, isn't it? It's crazy. So that's why I'm applying quite a bit of white. until I get the color that I want. Sprayers? No, you cannot use sprayers. Ava, the rule is you go upstairs or you play with your canvas, okay? So you have two choices. You can go watch your movie or you can do sprayers when I'm done my show. Right now I'm busy. That was the rule. And you gave your word to something and now you're going back on your promise. And that doesn't work, honey. Can you just show me another Nope. When I'm done, I will promise you I will show you. Okay, we'll take a few minutes after my show. Yep. Okay, so now I'm just blending and grabbing a little bit of my yellowy tone and I'm blending together so that it looks like it's together. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this poofy brush and I am going to blend those two linking colors together like this. 
so that it doesn't look like any brush strokes have been had. Okay? Can I have that when you're done? No, Ava, you can't have that because I'm using it. When I, whenever I'm done my painting, okay? Just like that. And this is okay. <laughs> poofy brush. It's called um, a mop brush. I'm sorry. It's a mop brush. No, you can't have that until I'm done, Ava. I'm still using it. Okay. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my blue. And I'm going to grab a Cerulean Blue Chromium by Golden. And I'm going to apply it right here, just one drop, maybe two, a couple drops, perfect. And I'm going to grab some Titanium White again, and I'm going to mix it together. I might need some new white after this show. And I'm going to blend those two colors together. And again, make sure you start light and go darker. That's my recommendation because you can always add more pigment but you can't take away pigment, right? That's the, that's the trick. And the reds are really pigmented, by the way, as you could tell, right? So I'm going to start a little bit light, and then I'm going to go a little bit darker. So once again with an X. You can take that. Go upstairs and uh, go upstairs and do crafts in your craft room, honey. But what is it? A typewriter. Okay. Wait, you do with it? Yep. Okay, you can go upstairs and do some stuff, okay? Okay. Okay. Can I see um Nope, you can't touch that. Okay. And now I'm gonna go a little bit darker, so I'm gonna add a little bit more pigment to this white. when I'm done my show honey and see now that I'm adding I'm not mixing it too much with the white I'm allowing that pigment to kind of show through here and there so that it kind of looks like a more realistic sky yeah get out of here go upstairs go upstairs please And Ava, do not put that on the floor. Make sure you put that on your craft table in your in your craft room. Got it? In your playroom. She's gonna put the brand new canvas that she painted on my brand new floors. Oh goodness, I'm glad you think I'm good because I'm ready to kill her. Um all right. So I'm just doing X's right now. All right, and so I'm going to grab my poofy brush one more time, right? And I'm just going to, with a little bit of that blue, I'm just going to blend. And I'm going to grab a little bit of that yellowy white, and I'm going to blend a little bit too. Because it kind of brings all the colors together. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> You're funny, Jess. <laughs> Oh, brother. Can you guys see the canvas so far? How does it look? Because I can't see. I can see in real life, but I can't see what it looks like on camera. So I'm hoping it looks half decent for you for you guys. And I'm just, what I'm doing right now is I'm grabbing some blue brush strokes to create a more realistic effect, as you can see. Because it kind of gives the effect of, of, you know, a cloud, if you will. Okay. Are you guys learning something tonight? I'm hoping. I'm hoping yes. All right. I think this is looking pretty darn okay. So I'm going to take my poofy brush a little bit and just blend a little bit more right here. And there is a little bit blue on there, which actually looks kind of good. We want a little bit of blue because it's a realistic sky. Okay. So a little bit of poofiness here and there. And it just blends everything together. Okay, just like that. Okay, perfect. Poofy, poofy. 
I want a little bit more blue right here. I'm just being fussy because it's my painting, right? Am I allowed to be? Yes, I am. Just trying to blend things together. That's all. And an extender, yeah, which I used this retarder by uh, Golden. And I'm just putting a little bit on my brush because that's how I like to work. And it totally allows me to whatever's on here, it just kind of glides the paint, which is just awesome to play with, you guys. If you know what, and it's really not that expensive. It's about eight, you know, I'm going to say in the US it'll be eight, nine dollars. And it lasts for such a long time. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's great. So it's not, it's not, I don't find that it's a big investment, you guys. It's one of those things that you just um, have, right? Oh, I put a little bit too much water on there. That's okay. All right, just like that. Fabulous. Fabuloso. Fabuloso, fabuloso. All right. So I'm going to give this a quick a quick heat set. Okay. Yeah, I use a tiny bit at a time, like tiny, like a little droplet. Man, I wish I could see the screen. That's really annoying. Hey, Bridget. Thanks. Thanks you so much. I'm moving it around so you guys can see a little bit. I know it's hard to see this pink on camera. Maybe it's not. Maybe you guys see it okay. But it's supposed to be very soft and subtle. That's the whole point. Did I just blow my breaker? No. Okay. So what I want to do is I actually want to add a little bit more depth to my canvas. Look at you guys. I just got uh, paint on my shirt. Good thing it's a painting shirt. What I want to do is I want to add a little bit more depth. So I'm going to add some of this island blue. And I'm going to put a little bit on my uh, palette right here. Just a little bit. I just want to add depth to the sky. I don't know. I'm just being picky. Okay. And it, it is usually on Tuesday evenings, but, you know, had some issues. Had to work. And, you know, falling down the stairs doesn't help. Okay. So all I'm doing right now is just blending. And once again, I'm doing that X thing, right? blending it into the pink just a little just a little bit okay I'm adding a little bit of white right here that I can just keep blending and I'm going to add a little bit of that tartar on here and then it just kind of flows Okay, and it kind of blends all my colors together. The color blue that I used is um, Island Blue, but it's a craft spark, so it is an acrylic, like cheapo paint, and I'm okay with that. But I just wanted a slightly bit more depth. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that dark blue again, and I'm going to add some dark pieces to it. Okay. A little bit too dark there. 
and with the brush I'm just kind of making strokes fast strokes like this okay and then I'm blending them fast strokes and then blend okay always with an axe a little bit of white required right here are you learning something you guys Isn't that blue beautiful? I just love it. It created a really awesome tone. It's all about playing. That's what it's all about, my friends. Okay. And so what we want is, I'm just putting a little bit of blue right here because it is sky, so you don't want it to look weird, right, where it's like, kind of want to blend everything together. So you do want to have, so whatever excess is on your brush, go ahead and play with it, right, towards the white area. So that it looks a little bit more realistic. Okay. And what I want to do, um, I want to add a little bit of yellow on my paintbrush. Actually, no, I'll, I'll do it on here. I'll apply a little bit right here. And then I just want to grab a little bit, and I just want to add some darker pieces of the yellow. Okay. And I want to blend a little bit with the white, too, as I go along. Okay, just a little bit. If you find it's too yellow, add a little bit of white. No big deal. This is how you play. Isn't this fun, you guys? I love it. <laughs> I hope, I really hope you enjoy it. Later, coach. probably hard to see I can tell it's kind of hard to see now I can kind of see myself but it's a little bit hard to see on camera the true effect but that's all right just putting a little yellow here and there and as you can see it's starting to come alive you guys right um so what I'm going to do a little bit is I'm going to grab a little bit more of that places where I have an extra little bit of pink where it's a little bit darker and I'm going to keep blending it again, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my poofiness, my poofy brush, which I put in water and I shouldn't have. I'm just going to dry it up really quick. And I'm going to mop a little bit. but it blends, okay? Yeah, don't put it in water. And look, at, I hate this brush because it leaves um, hairs. That drives me nuts. Especially if it's wet. It's a cheaper one that I bought at Michael's. I've never bought brushes at Michael's, but they were cheap, and I thought, oh, what the heck? Okay, yeah, don't do that. Buy good brushes. That's what I say. That's my coaching for the day. Buy good brushes. Okay. All right. I think we're good on the sky, at least. All right. What's a. Um, I buy my brushes at an art supply store. Like really, that's that's really actually where I buy my brushes. Okay. So what we're gonna do next, you guys, is we're gonna take. Um, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm okay with it not quite dry yet, and we're gonna start making the grass over here. Okay. So let's take some of this green, and this is called Green Gold by Golden. I'm gonna grab quite a bit because it is a big canvas. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna add some of that. Um, golden retarder 
to it and you don't need to apply a lot but it extends your um, brush a little bit okay and I'm going to use right now I'm going to use what is this a number it's an oval three-quarter brush okay and I'm going to blend these two together just like that hang on I lost the chat there for a moment just want to ensure okay good and then with the next I am going to um, do the same thing can you guys see the bottom of the screen I don't know if it's if you guys can see it or not It might look yellow on your screen, but it really is green. Did I say that right? It looks darker. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm kind of losing my mind a little bit. I hit my head yesterday. I'm still a little bit wonky. Just a little wonky, a little off, I can tell. And I really like the way that um, it, ha it creates brush strokes. I actually like the texture on there because it is supposed to be grass. So I'm totally okay with the um, texture, with the brush strokes, I mean. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. I didn't quite have enough. Spray. Ava, I am not doing sprays until I come from my sh I'm done my show. So please go upstairs before you get a timeout. That's fine. Okay. This two spots. Okay, two spots are not dry. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Can you guys see the bottom? Did you guys say yes? And now I'm just kind of making darker brush strokes, as you can see. To kind of imitate that grass okay and now with my brush I'm just creating a little bit of dimension and texture by playing with it you loving that green okay good I'm glad you can see the whole canvas okay fabulous this is called Green Gold by Golden. Okay. Green Gold by Golden. It's absolutely lovely. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do, you guys, is now we're going to dry this and we're going to start painting the flowers. And then after we're done creating the flowers, we'll actually do the grass blades, okay, in between the flowers. That's what I usually like to do, okay? So, and it'll create a whole lot of depth, but this will be a field full of poppies. And what I really wanted to do is I wanted to do something a little bit different because my house has teal in it, like kind of like this, uh, like patina right um i thought maybe i could do um oh eva you're getting too close you're gonna burn that that's why it's bubbling honey um so what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna make teal poppies instead of red poppies what do you guys think should we do some teal poppies i i say yes i say let's make some teal poppies go upstairs please up up you go thank you okay I'm gonna grab a different palette okay and I'm gonna use my cobalt teal my oh so precious cobalt teal okay and I'm gonna apply quite a bit because I am gonna be using quite a bit okay and 
what else am I going to grab? I'm going to grab several different size brushes, um, corner brushes. And I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to grab this one for the little ones. And let's see if I have another one. I should have another corner brush. Maybe one of these ones. So I have about three right there. Oh, I have four. So it's about three or four different sizes. So um, I'm going to be use a, using a three by eight corner brush. This one is um, a half, it says. And what's this one? This one is a quarter. And this one's a quarter. So I guess I'll put this one back. Okay. I would like some wine or vodka. Who's buying? Let me dry this green though first. Who's buying? Sweet, Jess. You're buying us some drinks? Awesome. I love it. You know what I was doing, you guys? I was standing this whole time. Of course, my back is like starting to kill me. Sorry, guys, I just want to dry this so that we can draw the flowers on a little bit better. What are we blasting that we're bringing um, booze next time to the show? <laughs> Am I missing something? I need some because my girls are driving me nuts right now. Oh, I see. What do you mean you can't see? Uh-oh, can you guys see me? Somebody says they can't see me. Oh, okay. Just try and refresh maybe the screen. Sometimes that does that. I don't know. Ustream has been not great. It took me, you guys, 30 minutes just to get on my own show, my own channel. <laughs> I was not happy. I was not very happy, let me tell you. Okay, good. I'm glad what you see. I'm glad you like what you see. You have to refresh? Yeah. I can't see myself, you guys. That's the funniest part. Isn't that hilarious? I literally cannot see myself. So, that's all right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating different color, um, sorry, not different colors, different size poppies. And I laugh because I call this my abstract poppies, okay? And so should we start big? Let's start big and then we'll go into small. So start, grab your um, largest corner brush. So about a quarter. Okay. 
and dip your brush on both sides so that you have enough ink, okay? And then what you want to do too, actually, is you want to have a little bit of white on the side for some blending, okay? Ava, if you don't go upstairs, I said you will get a timeout today, okay? So, I, what? What do you want to tell me? Yes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip the I'm going to tip the front part of my brush into the white, just like that. And I'm going to do it on both sides, okay? And then what I'm going to do is on my palette, I'm just going to brush it like this, okay? And then I'm going to do the same thing one more time. I know this seems redundant, but it's not, you guys. And then you grab and dip on the white and then brush. Okay, and now you're ready. Now your brush is kind of prepped, okay? So we're going to do the first one, and like I said, it's kind of abstract-ish. So we're going to do the middle one first. And we're just going to kind of create that poppy like and it's abstracty right and once again we're dipping okay because we want two different tones right and we're filling in the middle You're like, that doesn't look like a poppy. Don't worry, it will. I promise you, it'll have centers, it'll have petals. Okay. And I don't, I don't do a ton of talking as I paint because I get kind of distracted. Okay. And as you can see, what I do is I use the white to create my petal. Do you see that? Okay. I promise you it'll look like a poppy at the end. I have no idea what you guys are talking about, but I'm ignoring you while I paint, okay? Is that okay? Good. And I'm going to add a little bit of retarder to my paint because I'm finding that it's not gliding very well, and that's annoying me. And I'm going to put a little bit of white there too, okay? petal right here and I promise you that once we start creating the actual um, like give them form they'll look like a poppy but right now it's just the abstract part okay it's all that is and we're going into the green now a little bit right so we're going to create one little petal right here and another petal like that And we'll do a couple other big ones here and there. Do another big one down here. Okay, and then I'm going to start grabbing. Oh, no, we'll do a couple other big ones before we move on. We'll do another big one right here. I'm totally not looking at the chat. I hope Yvonne's got it covered. Oh, is it a 
frozen. Uh oh. Hey, lovely. Okay, so it's not frozen screen. I hope not. I hope not. Um, we'll do a big one right here. This one was kind of a weird one, wasn't it? That's all right. It was my first one. It's all good. It's supposed to be weird, right? Okay, we'll do one more big one and then we'll kind of move into the middle ones. Okay. Yes, it is. It is cobalt teal, my friend. It is cobalt teal, my fave, baby. We're going to go into the middle one now. This is the uh, 3 8 okay? And I'm going to add a little bit more white. I need to get more white, you guys. Can you guys see all right? You just have to, I have to check in with you every once in a while since I can't see myself. I'm grab a little bit of white, a little bit of teal. And I added an extender for those of you that are late. Okay. And I am going to do the little ones now. Okay. And with the little ones too is I'm kind of going to, um, actually this is the middle one, so it's not quite little. Okay. And this one needs a little bit more teal. It's a little bit too white. And as you can see, the white kind of gives, you can start to see the petals, right? If you just use teal, you probably wouldn't be able to see that depth and dimension, right? So that's why I use the white to create a full flower. Does that make sense, you guys? If you're not talking about drinking. You like the teal poppies? Okay, good. I'm glad you like them because I kind of like them too. I promise you they'll actually look like poppies by the time we're done this. <laughs> this is just the first part. We're just creating the, the base of them. This size canvas is huge. It's like 18 by 16 or something. I'm going to guess something like that. Something, something. I'm running out of teal. Ah. This is like one little one. So you want to start creating. I'm going to grab my little one, my little brush, because I'll create little tiny poppies. This will be like, what? Just want to create like little specks and they're the ones that are kind of growing and they'll have stems don't worry so they'll actually look like something you know you're like what are you doing just trust me just trust me some of them are little and they're just kind of bulbs that are opening up right so you want to create little bulbs here and there right just like that and they're really tall sometimes they're really tall and they're bulbs and they don't quite open up if you guys have ever seen poppies right so you want to create little bulbs here and there and that's all these are little bulbs okay my little abstract bulbs but they're bulbs and you really want to use a corner brush they work really really great then you can create little ones, little poppies, right, just like that. I need a little bit of cobalt teal. I'm running out. And once again, I will add my extender because it really works. Okay. And mix it around. And as you noticed, um, it 
they started flowing really, really well, right? When I ended the extender. So that's what I wanted to do. It's just a little bulb. It's growing right there. Add a little bit of white for dimension. It's just a little field of poppies. We want to do maybe another another one right here. Once we add the centers, I think it'll look so much better. This one I really screwed up on. Just trying to fix it right now, as you can see. It'll look all right by the end, I think. Sorry, you guys, I'm totally missing the chat because I'm really into my poppies right now. Okay. You got it, baby. You got to be big spenders after my shows. It's a problem. Stop watching my shows. I make you spend money. That's what my, um, my students say when I teach classes. You got to stop teaching. You make me spend money. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry about that. It's just the way life goes. And I'm making it really nice and full, okay? I know you're like, oh my God, when is she going to be done? I promise. Soon. I get carried away. What did you say? Shame on you. It's all your fault. I know. It's okay. I'm used to it. Blame me all you want. I'm all right with it. You know you love it. You know you want it. You know you want it. Just doing little specks here and there. And those are the little ones that are kind of growing. Okay. I promise you they'll look great. They're just the little, little bulbs. And it's very abstract, right? Don't try to be perfect if you're watching this back. Okay. So we have our little field of poppies, right? So the next thing that we want to do is we might add some more and that's fine, right? Actually, I want to add a little bit, some up top, like little ones, like right there. I know you're like, what is you doing? Trust me. I kind of have an idea in my head, right? Because they're kind of blowing in the wind, right? So that's the that's the thing that I got going on here. And I want to do a little one right here. Kind of want to squeeze some in here. It's my never-ending canvas. I promise to be done by 8:30. Okay, I promise. I shouldn't promise stuff like that. Oh, you know I'll never fulfill on it. All right. All right. It is a, it's a flat canvas. How else would it be? Is there anything else but a flat canvas? I'm confused by the question. I know. Aren't you getting in the mood to paint? I'm confused... It is a flat canvas. <laughs> I'm just going to dry this so that I can create the leaves and stuff. We still have to make the centers and we still have to make the grass blades and stuff. Sorry about the commercial. What are you doing, Leanne?
Oh, awesome. I love that one that you made. It was beautiful. It's funny, on, um, on my screen right now, it doesn't look like it's teal. It looks like it's like really dark blue, which is weird. Oh, are your fingers itching to paint? I know it's fun, huh? She's doing it for you, Yvonne? Oh, no way. She better be doing one for me. Oh, it does look teal to you? Okay, good. It must be just the screen. I just want to ensure that this is totally dry because I'm going to be using my oh-so-amazing pit markers. Nope. This is this little one that I have. My tiny one. <laughs> oh, Patty. Hey, Patty, did you send me an invoice, by the way? I, um, a PayPal invoice because I don't think I saw one. Or am I supposed to be sending you one? I'm confused. Is Jess on here? Oh yes, of course you are. But it... Which Jess is this? Is it my Jess? I don't know. Oh, just do it, girl. Just do a you stream. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> just, a, just a little stressful today, trying to get on. This is still a little bit wet. Hang on, you guys. This is my uh, hand testing to see if it's dry. Hey, Sarah. All right. Okay, cool. It's actually really weird using a Ustream because you can't actually hear anyone. So you kind of sometimes feel like you're talking to yourself. So it's pretty funny. Um, the, so the color that I'm using is I I'm using my uh, Pit Artist Pens by Faber-Castell. Um, and this one's called Permanent Green Olive, which I got gesso all over it when I was painting earlier. Okay. And so what I'm going to be doing, you guys, is um, I'm going to be creating some blades of grass throughout and making this a little bit darker. So... Um, not only am I going to be making blades of grass, but I'm also going to creating the stems. So first, I think I'm going to do the stems, okay? And I'm hoping you guys can see this. And what I can do is I can blend them. Because this is done on a prepped canvas, this can blend really, really easily so it's not so stark, okay? And just like that, okay? All right, and you can do some grass blades and blend, okay? And you come down and blend. Come down and blend. Okay, I'll stop saying that. Come down and blend. It's like it's like a exercise routine. And up and down and up and down. <laughs> okay, am I the only one laughing? Because I feel like I'm the only one laughing. Okay, good. I'm glad you're laughing with me. Okay, now everybody up and down and up and down. <laughs> oh, and then I'm going to kind of go this way now, right? You want to just make sure you go both ways with your stems or it's going to look weird, right? Isn't it slowly starting to come together, you guys? 
slowly but surely. And then I promise you there will there'll be so much grass here that you'll, um, it'll be awesome. And we'll ensure that these stems, you can actually see them and they're not so blended. Okay. And this is India ink, by the way, you guys, um, these uh, pit markers. So they are so highly pigmented. They are permanent, which is pretty fabulous. Oops, it just went over a poppy. Wasn't supposed to happen. That's all right. It all blends. It's all good. What did you want? A big one? A big what? I shouldn't be watching the chat as I paint. It doesn't really work for me. So I won't be doing that. We'll let Yvonne handle it. She's doing a fine job. Right, Yvonne? She's my girl tonight. Just trying to ensure that there's stems for all of my poppies and that they're not stemless. Creating a little bit of a curve because you know how poppies grow so weird, right? So that's all I'm doing. And the blending just kind of allows that darker green to just blend into the other golden green and starts to create shadows, which is what we want. All right. Just like that. All right. There's one right here. We don't want to miss that. Did I miss any? Yep, right there. Sometimes I have to stand up to see them, but I think I pretty much got them. But what I want to do is I want to blend. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, so it is kind of coming together. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually create... Oh, look, my screen came back. Yay! No, it didn't actually. Just one part did. Never mind. Um... So now what we want to do is we want to create uh, like blades of grass and create some little shadows here and there. So all we need to do is we just literally need to take our um, brush and create strokes like this and blades of grass that are coming out of the poppies and blend very, very gently because you still want to see them. Okay. You want to just start filling the canvas. And some of them will be three-dimensional, just like that, almost like leaves on the poppies. And blend. And blend. I can just see I might not finish this canvas on camera, but um, you'll hopefully get an idea of how to create this. At least I want to make the centers for these flowers so that you guys can see how to do that. So all I'm doing right now is just creating some blades of grass and I'm kind of doing that everywhere. I really want this to start becoming a little bit darker in between. Okay. And even down here. Make sense. What's awesome?
as you see it's like almost like I'm doodling it's really really um, freeing to be able to paint this way because you really don't need to be perfect and you don't need to like be able to draw perfectly you just need to kind of be able to see where you need to fill right that's really all that's needed So that is all I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm just filling. Just filling in. Oh, my canvas. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm blending a little bit of this right here. I'm going to take a lighter color. Look at my fingers. And this is the May Green, and I'm going to do the same thing. But this is a little bit of a lighter color. So now the colors start to blend together and all those little white spots kind of get filled in okay and what you'll notice is that the gold green i think it's that's what's called green gold it kind of starts to look yellowy which is really awesome that's kind of what you want okay you want to start filling in those little white spots that you see in between the flowers so that it doesn't look weird okay just like that and what's really great is that you may be able to go over some of your poppies later so you do want blades of glass grass so you want to keep doing that right this is a blade of grass up here okay I might be losing the flowers here, but that's okay because they'll come back to life in a moment. Don't you worry. Don't don't worry. Be happy. And I'm making playing it after the show, like with my canvas, which I always do. But what I want to do is I do want to create the centers for you so that you know how to make them. Okay. Otherwise, I'll take forever. And I'm going to dip my brushes in water. And I'm going to take some black, okay, because the poppies have a black center. I'm going to take a little bit of black, not too much, because you you're not going to use a whole schwack of it. And I am going to take a little bit of that yellow that I had used previously, which is this one right here. It's the Naples Yellow Hue. And I'm going to apply a little bit right here. Not too much, because I don't need a whole lot. And you're going to need a little brush, tiny one, for the little... Uh, dots in the middle and then you're going to take another smaller um i'm going to say this this um what is this called corner brush with a little bit of white where did my white go did i put it somewhere else or did i already use it maybe i used it i'm going to put it right here just a tiny tiny bit okay i might i might not use it we'll see and then i'm going to dip my corner brush and i'm just probably going to use the tip of it and I'm going to move this out of the way and let's make the centers and so all you're doing with the poppy is you're just making the center right here by dotting it okay that's all you're doing and then we'll go in with the yellow in a moment okay so with the corner I'm not using the entire thing just with the big corner right I don't know if you can see it sorry totally not pointing at the camera I don't know who I'm pointing to at my class that I think is in front of me Okay. Can you guys see that the poppies start to come alive? Okay. That's what's so cool about abstract art. Okay. Well, it's not really that abstract, I guess. I shouldn't even call it abstract art. You know what? I cuz I can't actually um what do you call it? draw I get all self-conscious about my art, so I call it abstract. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Yeah, it is. It's cut like an angle. It's an angle brush, corner brush. It's actually, it's probably called an angle brush. I, call it, I don't know why I call it a corner brush. But that's what it is okay all 
and make sure it's a dry brush too okay aren't these puppies coming together you guys do you like them you're not gonna say no oh friendly advice put some center off center thanks Darcy how about right here there is that good How's that? You are so right. I wasn't even thinking about that. And this is going in my house, so it's good advice. Thank you, sweetie. I'm kind of liking this so far. What do you guys think so far? It's kind of cool. Yeah. They're really cute. I'm kind of loving them. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> love the color okay cool thank you so much for that advice it's awesome advice I love it love 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 and what I can see is that I kind of want another one oh and I put the paintbrushes in the water but that's okay maybe I'll use this one this one with the black no not so well no not so much okay so the next thing that I'm gonna do actually you guys is um, the black dries really quick because I only put a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my yellow. And I had another tiny one, but I guess we'll use this one. It's kind of falling apart. But hang on a sec. Let me see if I can find it. Um, doo -doo -doo. Sorry, I'm just trying to find my the brush I really love to use for these type of things. just can't seem to find it. It's probably in my sink somewhere. Yeah, probably. That's okay. So I use this tiny and oh I almost grabbed the wrong thing and I grabbed the yellow and what I'm gonna do is I am going to make little tiny yellow dots in the center just here and there not too many but it gives it a little bit more depth like the little seeds okay that's all I'm doing and I might not do them on all of them, just maybe the bigger ones that you can kind of see. I wish I could see my art from this video. I know, right? It's so funny how, uh, and I'm, you know what's funny, you guys, is that usually I make it on an easel too. So it's a little bit different. And uh, I'm sitting down because, you know, my accident <laughs> yesterday, my back is killing me. So uh, it's not my usual view either. So I really appreciate all the help I can get. Since if you miss this, this canvas is actually going in my house. I'm creating it for me. Is that not crazy? I don't usually create anything for me. Because I'm not usually a big fan of my work. I kind of get scared to put it up in my house. So can you believe that none of my friends really have seen my art? Because I don't have it up in my house anywhere. It's kind of sad. What can I say? making little dots okay I'm kind of liking this <laughs> yeah I should send it to you all right if you say so I know you should keep trying you're so cute okay 
um, it isn't done. What I'd like to do is, um, if you want to stick around, you can. I am making little blades of grass here and there that are going to be sticking up, and I'm going to blend a little bit. I just, it's not quite done for me, okay? Oh, maybe I am done because Ava's coming. <laughs> And what I'd like to do is I'd like to have a couple poppies up here a little bit. Um, so am I taking so long, Pumpkin? Are you getting annoyed with me? You really want to spray, don't you? Yeah. All right. Make this a spider. Can I show the ladies the canvas you made? Can I show them? Yeah. Okay. This is Ava's canvas. What do you guys think? Isn't it beautiful? And she drew on it. <laughs> I know it's pink and purple. Yep, they love it. They say they love it. But what about the picture? Oh, uh, she's asking if you like the picture on it. Oh, I know my my picture's not there. I know it's not showing it. <laughs> but it was. I know it was. I don't know why it's not working, honey. Okay, you guys. So this is pretty much uh, my canvas. I'll probably be doing um, tweaks to it here and there. It's not quite finished for me, but pretty darn close. Um, I hope you learned something tonight. Lots of different techniques. It does have to dry, and I'm going to put little poppies here and there, make a little bit more depth in the grass, maybe um, extend the the sky a little bit so that's a little bit deeper. I'm not quite sure, um, but I'm sure you learned something tonight. Because it's going on my wall, I want to be a little bit more picky about it. I'm going to turn it around. <laughs> Stay on. I'll keep watching. Thank you so much. Here. Is that better? Can you guys see it a little bit better? What do you guys think? Yeah? Okay. Awesome. So I really, really thank you guys for watching as always. It is recorded. So for those of you that came a little bit late, please go ahead and, um, and watch the recording if you want to learn some of the techniques. But um, that's, that's the class tonight, baby. That's what I got for you. You're so welcome. Oh, I'm so glad that was wonderful. Thank you all for stopping by. I absolutely love you. You guys are the best supporters on the planet. You are just, just awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> love you. And thank you so much, Yvonne, for being my mod tonight. You're fabulous. <laughs> Yes, happy Thanksgiving, you guys. You know what? Uh, us Canadians, we had Thanksgiving, so I forgot. So happy Thanksgiving to you all. Totally time to be with your family and enjoy um, everyone that you love. Go make friends with those family members that you've, you know, um, I guess shut off for a while that, you know, kind of tick you off. Just go make nice and give them a big hug and tell them how much you love them. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Good night, y'all. I'm going to go put my children to bed. But you said I can do sprays. I, oh, and Ava wants to make a spray. So we'll do that before we go to bed. Good night.